What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a few routes here and there, battled a few trainers, got a level up and everything, got skates, and, well, I got a phone call, and, well, yeah, it kind of uh, postponed our little battle in the last one. So, let's go right ahead and take on the gym leader now, because we kind of need to. So, the Santa Loon City Gym. Home of the bug type gym leader. I can't remember her name. We'll eventually figure it out. But here we are. The graphics are looking good. And if you talk to the only man that's ever believed in us, he's going to be like, What's the hustle, little Crustle? Welcome to the Santa Loon City Gym. So, future champ, this will be your first time challenging a gym, huh? Are you thrilled? Are you pumped? You should be! No worries here. You've got Pokemon on your side. And really, they're the ones that are going to be doing all the battling. Am I right or am I right? Right? Okay. This guy is odd. Jump on the pole there and you'll and, and you'll be on your way down to the gym leaders awaiting for you. Oops! But wait. Before you go, I'm supposed to tell you something. Okay, what is it? Everybody in this gym, or in this Pokemon gym, uses Bug-type Pokemon. Got it? Not that bad. Alrighty, so we're going to be sliding down here, right here on this stripper pole. And, well, look at this. Here we are. Alrighty, so if you follow the bubbles, guys, if you follow the bubbles, you will be able to, uh, to locate the gym leader real quickly. So let's go right ahead and uh, not follow the bubbles and just battle everybody right here. So let's see. Where do we go? Right here. And, well, there it is. We get ourselves a first battle. And here we are taking on Youngster David. And what's going to happen right here is we're going to bring out Star Fox. Now, funny thing about this gym, too, is they also have fire-type coverage, mainly in the, in the form of water sports. So just keep an eye out for that right there. And as you guys can see, Ladybug is not playing around. It is using... It is definitely using its uh, supersonic attack right here. So let's go right ahead and go with a flame uh, flame charge. Hopefully this will work. No, we get hurt. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, seriously? He's going to hit us six times, right? Oh, my God. Just left one thing out. So come on. Let's go, Star Fox. And here we go. Flame charge for the win. That's how you do it. Alrighty. Okay. And, well, Youngster David has been defeated. And, uh, well, I didn't really like to... I didn't really like the battle the way that way, so we gotta heal up our Pokemon right here. So, the good thing is, we did stock up on some items. Well, mainly potions, because right now, at this very moment, you can only get yourself potions and Pokeballs. Super potions are out there in the wild, and, uh, well, let's go right ahead and follow these bubbles right here, and if I'm not mistaken, we kind of overpassed that, so let's go right here, and let's give, uh, let's give our little buddy, Aaliyah, a chance. Now, again, yes, in this walkthrough, I will only be using Kalos Pokemon later into the whole walkthrough. As of right now, we can't really do... Well, we really can't do anything with the, the Pokemon that we find right here, especially the Kalos Pokemon. So, just keep that in mind that, yeah, we're going to be capturing some uh, some uh, some Kalos Pokemon right here. And we're going to be training them up. And, yeah, we're going to be making this team, you know, pretty, pretty stacked and all that stuff. And, oh, my God, are you serious? Okay, so we're just going to level up. I'm sorry, Aaliyah. We're going to have to switch this out right here. All righty. So, we're going to go straight to Star Fox. And, well, we're going to take a hit. Not much of a hit right there. So, let's go straight for a Flame Charge attack. And here it is. Bam! For the win. There you go. Alrighty. Okay. And, well, as you guys can see, Aaliyah grows to level 9. And just like that, we get another victory for us. So... Let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead, and uh, we got one more trainer to, to, to face, so let's go right ahead and uh, get down to the nitty-gritty. And, well, we're going to let Aaliyah battle again, so 
Here it is. Another challenger. I can't. I didn't even read the whole thing right here. So here we go. Taking on last Charlotte, not Charlotte Flair, and well, she's gonna be coming out with a Kakuna. So this right here is gonna be easy pickings for our Pokemon. So here we go, Aaliyah. Let's go. Alrighty, Kakuna. Yeah, you're gonna lose right here. So here we go, Thunder Shock. Not so effective. Here comes a Poison Sting attack. That. Thank you, Arceus. We are not poisoned. So, let's go. Thundershock. And here comes another Poison Sting. So, at least this Pokemon trainer has kept some moves that, you know, are needed for its Pokemon to defend itself. And there we go. Alrighty. Okay. So, there you go. Get a, get a little bit more HP. And she will be coming out with a Combi right here. As you guys can see, this Combi can actually evolve into Vespa Queen afterwards. And look at this. Because of its flying capabilities, yeah, it's, it's going to have a hard time against this Pokemon. So let's go right ahead, use another Thundershock. And just like that, we have defeated Combi. Yeah, buddy. All righty. And welcome to level 10, Aaliyah. That's how you do it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and, well, Aaliyah is learning Quick Attack right here. So, let's go ahead and teach it Quick Attack. And, huh. Play nice is... Yeah, we're going to be doing this. All right, play, play nice is going to be a little bit different. So, there we go. And Quick Attack has been, has been learned. And, well, let's see. Let's see. I'm looking at some stuff right here. And, well, it looks like, it looks like if we heal up our Pokemon, our Pikachu, it should be able to be enough when it comes to this whole thing. So, let's go ahead and heal up Pikachu. And, let's go straight to the gym leader herself. I believe her name is Elsa or something. I don't know. That determined expression. That glint in your eye says you're up for the challenge. It's fantastic. Just fantastic. Is this your first time challenging a gym? Fantastic. Whether it's the tears of frustration that follow a loss or the blossoming joy that comes with that victory, they're both great subjects for my camera. Fantastic. They'll be just fantastic. Now come at me. My lens is always focused on victory. I won't let anyone ruin this shot. Oh, yeah? How much you want to bet? Okay, so here we are. Oh, yeah, her name is Viola. My bad. My bad, guys. <laughs> so here we are, taking on Viola, and she will be coming out with a Surskit right here. So let's go with Aaliyah. Let's see what Aaliyah can do. Let's get it. Thundershock for the win. And that right there is, is super effective, but... Yeah, this Pokemon is going to is going to last a little long. So here we go. Quick attack from Surskit. And oh my god. Oh my god, we almost defeated it. So let's go right ahead and go for a quick attack. And of course the gym leaders always have to be prepared. So here comes a potion. This of course will give us a chance to hit it with a quick attack. That would have defeated it. So let's go ahead and use a Thundershock yet again. And Aaliyah, if you get defeat, oh, look at this. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so here comes another, yeah, another Thundershock, and here comes the quick attack for the win. Let's go. And just like that, Aaliyah is a victor. Now we're gonna be going up against Vavillian. Now, this is perfect because usually Surskit is the one that sets up the whole water sport technique which lowers fire type moves. Now that it didn't use it, we got Vivillian, or we're gonna be taking on Vivillian with one flame charge right here. Hopefully one flame charge, hopefully. And, well, we're getting infested, but here comes the flame charge attack. That nearly beats this Pokemon, and this will increase our speed. Unfortunately, we're gonna get eaten alive just a little bit. All right, let's go with an Ember attack. I think we're more of a special attacker and oh nearly defeat this Pokemon here comes a tackle attack and an infestation so yeah there is something that we, 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 we need to keep an eye out so here we go 
Ember attack for the win. And there you go. Say goodbye to Vavillian. And, well, Star Fox grows to level 15. And that almost, it almost grows to level 16. Holy buckets. Okay. Alrighty. So, there is another victory for us right there. And Viola is going to be like, Young Trainer, you... No, it wasn't you alone. You and your Pikachu have shown me a whole depth of field. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Okay. And, well, as you guys can see, we got ourselves a peace sign right here. We got ourselves a bug badge. With, the bug, or with that bug badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to your orders in battle. Yep, even the ones you get from trades. And here... This commemorates your win against a pro, a pro fo a photog like me. What is it with people not finishing up a, finishing up a whole uh, a word? It's it's annoying. Okay, so this TM right here is uh, what was it called? Uh, okay, you can use it over and over again. And this TM is T. Well, it's infestation right here. This will let's see, let's see. It's impossible to defend, and your Pokemon can't flee from battle. Now that you now then, can you zoom in a bit and check out the tent right behind me? Take the stairs that uh, that you find beyond it, and you'll be back up to the entrance faster than a flash. I do like the references and stuff. I really do. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Let's get the heck out of here, and... Well... We are here, guys. And, well, the only man that's ever believed in us... He's going to be like, whoa, would you look at the bug badge? Nice, very nice. Future champ. I bet that I bet that schmancy pants professor who gave you your first Pokemon would be amazed to see it. After after you heal up your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, why don't you head up to the Pokemon Lab in Lumio City and show him, huh? Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We will find out. Okay, so there is one more thing that you guys need to do before you finish off this episode. And that is, if you go back here and talk to Viola's sister, she is going to notice that you got the bug badge. And because of this, you will be able to, well, she'll introduce herself, her name is Alexa. The gym leader you face is Viola's her younger sister. I work the journalist as a journalist myself. Here, why don't you take this and celebrate you getting your first badge and we get ourselves an experience share. In generation, I believe six, this is where the experience share can be turned on and off, and you can use it on everybody. Everybody gets half the points, everybody gets points, and this is how, like, you know, everything becomes so easy for the games. Which, in my, like, in my, in my opinion, I do, I do keep it on. I don't want to keep it all hard and all that stuff because I kind of need to finish the game, go to the next walkthrough. Yes, it's kind of petty of me, but I do like it right here, and it's better for all, like, my Pokemon. So... There it is, guys. We, uh, yeah, that's another victory for us. In the next episode, we will be capturing some more Pokemon, you know, taking down some people, whatever. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always. I'll be back for another Pokemon Y walkthrough episode. See you guys.